get out of the kitchen more often. French cooking is impossible. Who is the one who promised Jean-Paul an authentic meal? Now, guys, Jean-Paul and the Vicomte are making a special trip all the way from France, and they're flying here just to eat? No, they're coming out to design a big new fashion line. And since Jean-Paul is our dearest friend, we're gonna make him feel at home. Uh... And if we're nice enough, maybe we'll get an exclusive sneak peek at their fashions for our magazine. That's more like it. Now you're talking. Let's get busy. So, I have always wondered, what is, anyway, a vicomte? It is a noble title, which is below a count, but above a baron. <laughs> but please, Jean-Paul. If we are to work together, you must call me Gaston. Very well, Gaston. To our work! <laughs> <laughs> ah, a vintage bottle of milk. Sacre bleu, my mustache is white. I am an old man. Voila! I am young again! <laughs> <laughs> Sirs, your lunch? Ah, excellent! <laughs> we cannot eat this. Uh, this, this so-called food. It smells like plastic. Like poorly prepared plastic. Send this back to the cockpit. And fire the chef at once! <laughs> oh, forgive me, Jean-Paul, for losing my top and blowing my cool, but to me, food is sacred. Do not worry. Soon, we will be in America, where I have arranged for the brats to prepare us an authentic feast. To the brats! May their meal fill our tummies with glee. Bon appétit! Voila! Très bien! <laughs> C'est magnifique! <laughs> C'est excellent! Ah, that does it! Five more minutes and these goujons are fini! Mmm, the sauce is magnifique! This creme brulee is par excellence! And this coco van rocks! Or however you say that in French. Guys, we did it! Jean-Paul and the Vicomte are gonna totally feel at home. Soon as the souffle is ready, we'll pack it up and take it to the office. 
I ordered flowers. I brought candles. This is gonna be great. Hello. Bonjour. This is Jean-Paul. Jean-Paul. Hang on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hi, Jean-Paul. Hi, Hi Vicomte. We have some great news for you guys. I hope you're extra hungry. I am so hungry, I could have a cow. Have you cooked for us our splendid, authentic meal? Have we ever. And we just know you guys are gonna love it. The meal is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are now approaching the Stylesville International Airport. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost there. Perfect. Unfortunately, a billy goat wearing a swim cap has run into the air traffic control tower and is causing all sorts of mischief. So we're going to have to circle the airport for at least another 20 minutes while they sort things out. But, but I am so hungry. My stomach weeps in sorrow. No matter, my friend. We have waited this long. Twenty minutes will be as to nothing. Yeah, no big deal. We'll just keep it warm for you. Oh, thank you, mademoiselle. You are so kind to us. No, oh, we are so excited. For you see French food, yes, she is tasty. <laughs> but we eat it every day. It gets, uh, how you say, humdrum. Uh... French food is humdrum? We. Oui. This is why we look so forward to the feast you promised us, Shane. It will be our very first authentic American meal. <laughs> Au revoir. Authentic American meal? Oh. Well, you see, when I talked to Jean-Paul, I was trying out my French, and I've only taken French three, and somehow or other I must have completely misunderstood him. All this time, we've been killing ourselves for nothing? Now what are we gonna do? Oh, guess I'm kinda in hot water. Cool Cat, here's a little food for thought. When Jean-Paul and the Vicomte get here and there's no American food, we're gonna have major egg on our faces. Yeah, I mean, no point crying over spilled milk. All right, I get the point. We'll just have to cook up a miracle. It'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> huh. Okay, so Jean-Paul and the Vicomte will be here within half an hour and they expect an American feast. If we work together, we might be able to pull it off. Who knows a recipe for southern fried chicken? Fried chicken? Think of Thanksgiving. There's nothing more American than roast turkey. We don't have time to roast the turkey. What we should make is burgers. They're fast, easy, and all American. And boring. Come on, I can't believe none of you have said New England clam chowder. That's probably what our founding fathers ate after they signed the Declaration of Independence. That happened in Philadelphia, not New England. Yeah, but still, I mean... Mm, turkey with stuffing and gravy. Hamburgers with American cheese and... And they could each pull on the wishbone. Winner gets a drumstick. Why are you all so dismissive of chowder? Turkey chowder! What's wrong with fried chicken? Enough! I can't believe we're having a food fight and we haven't even made the food. You're right, this is ridiculous. We just need to calm down and approach this methodically. Now, the first step in making an all-American meal is seeing what all-American ingredients we have in Chloe's all-American fridge. Frog legs, snails, and garlic. Not exactly American food. I stocked up in case they wanted seconds. Hey, wait a minute. Look at this. Apple pie. Classic American comfort food. <sighs> well, that was counterproductive. What were we doing again? Hello? Good news, Jay. Sean Paul. The goat has been arrested. In the plane, now she lands. 
We shall be there exceedingly soon. I cannot wait to eat your grub. <laughs> They're landing. Then we better fly. Ah, the grocery store, quick. What happened? Move along, you. There's nothing to look at here. But uh, we need to get into the store. See, we need to make a meal really quick and... What you need to do is move along, miss. Since when do you call me miss? You're in my math class. Okay, a bad batch of dog food exploded in the storeroom, liver and gravy everywhere. Any moment now, this place will be crawling with wild dogs. That's ridiculous. Oh, is it? Oh, this is like a bad dream. Move along, ladies. <laughs> I'll handle it from here. Forget making food. We're just gonna have to buy it. Great, I know a restaurant that makes awesome clam chowder. Chowder? Oh, you mean fried chicken. It's gotta be burgers. Nuh-uh, roast turkey. Oh, whatever. We don't have time to argue. Just split up and get whatever American food you can. We'll meet back at the office. Right. Chloe, to what do I owe a visit from my favorite niece in the world? Oh, Uncle Marco, I'm sorry to just drop in like this, but I'm in a jam and I was hoping maybe you could help me out because my friends and I were going to cook an authentic American meal, but the store's closed and I really want a turkey in. Turkey? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop right there. Sweetheart, you have come to the right place. I've got some turkey cooking in the kitchen. You do? You bet. Come on in. It'll be done in a minute. Coach number 22, fight formation, new block! Don't let him do! Run it, run it, run the ball! Uh, excuse me, coach? You threw that ball! What are you waiting for? You threw that! Oh, hi, Sasha. Don't run it! Go! Um, hey, you know how you always grill such great burgers at practice? Freddy, you're all right! You're on the right! Well, my friends and I are in a bind. See, we were gonna make this big, authentic American meal, only... Nadermeyer, you are a quarterback. You do not play with the dandelions. You need some chow? Oh, sure thing. Marcus, you drop that ball and throw some meat on the grill. Ugh. I said, drop the ball and throw the meat on the grill, not the other way around. Phew. Football players, <laughs> you gotta love them. <laughs> Hello, tiny girl. What would you like to order? I need some authentic American Southern fried chicken and quick. Southern fried chicken coming up. Oh, thank you, Stanka. You're really a lifesaver. <laughs> you will see. Stanka make best southern fried chicken in all of USA. After all, I am from the south of Hungary. <laughs> Hungary? Excuse me. Pardon me. Hot chowder coming through. Hello? Guess who? <laughs> it is your favorite starving Frenchman. We are in our limousine on our way from the airport. Oh, perfect. I'll have an extra special all-American treat waiting for you. I guarantee, Jean-Paul, when you get a taste of this, you are gonna flip. Heads up! Hello? Jay? Is something the matter? No, 
know, Jean Paul. Everything's just great. See you soon. Jade? Are you okay? Let me help you. Oh, thanks, Dr. Chen. Guess I better clean up this mess. The wild dogs will eat it. I'm more concerned about you. Oh, I'm okay. I, I just really wanted to serve some friends of mine the perfect American meal. Hmm. Why don't you come get cleaned up? I'll help you with your meal. You know how to make clam chowder? No, but I know another seafood dish that I think your friends will love. Come on, it only takes one minute. But is it American? I'm American, and I love it. Oh, forgive me, Gaston. My belly wounds me. I must eat sooner. I will waste away to the little, itty, bitty, bitty nothing. I know. Driver, why this sudden delay? We move slower than an escargot. Uh, sorry, traffic's jammed downtown. Something about a chowder spill. Oh, la, la. Oh, oh. This will not do. I must eat soon. And the poor girls, they have worked so hard for us. All oh, their authentic American food will go cold. <laughs> what are we to do? <laughs> oh, we make an excellent team, yes? We, oui, we, oui. oh, keep peddling. Our meal shall wait. It awaits. <laughs> I'm half crazy. Are they here yet? No, not yet. Thank goodness you guys all came through. Look at all this stuff. Um, yeah, about the other stuff. My Uncle Marco said he had turkey, but... This, Chloe, is Italian turkey meatball soup. You see all the tiny meatballs? They show how much care and love was put into making it. It was the first meal my grandmother made when she came to America. That's kind of cool, don't you think? Uh, yeah, Angel. That is kind of cool. What about the chicken? Um... Here you go, darling. Hungarian paprika chicken! <gasps> it is a little bit of Hungary I share with my new country. <laughs> she seemed so proud of it. What can I say? But you got the chowder. Um, not exactly. This, Jade, is scallops and black bean sauce. My mother taught me this recipe. I bet your friends will like it so much, they'll want the recipe too. She really put her heart into it. Sasha, burgers? Tacos. Tacos? I asked for burgers. Football players. You gotta love them. Well, we could always send out for some good old Chicago-style pizza. Of course, pizza! Why didn't we think of that earlier? With any luck, we still have time. But pizza's Italian. It's American. Come on, it's from Sicily. We've completely adapted our own version. There's nothing American about it. No, it's way different from what they make in Italy. <clears throat> Please excuse us for letting ourselves in, but we are starved, and this smells from this room. They, they are, are heavenly. Jean-Paul! My manners, brats. This is Gaston, Gaston. These are the brats. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> oh, this American food, it smells delicious. The meatballs, they are so tiny. You can see how much love and care was put into making it. <laughs> It is everything I dreamed of. <gasps> um, there's something I need to tell you. 
You see, that food may be delicious, but it's not really American. What do you mean? We ran out of time, so our friends, neighbors, relatives, they made the food themselves. It's Chinese food, Italian food, Hungarian, and Mexican. Hmm. I see. Therefore, it is American. Huh? <laughs> Silly girls. No difference. That is what makes America. How you say? American! Our new line of fashion, it is for America! Like America, we take a little from here, a little from there, and we put it all together. It makes a style all its own. Like everybody pitching in to help us today. We never would have made it without them. See? United you stand. Now please, mademoiselle, join us. I... I'm starving! <laughs> to our great American melting pot meal. <laughs> <laughs>